iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max has got the biggest upgrade since the launch of the first Pro Max series in 2019. iPhone 15 has finally USB Type-C. The Pros get USB 3.0 port with speed up to 10 GB. Yes, it was expected to get Thunderbolt 4.0. You can also use a charger and a cable from the iPad Pro, MacBook Pro or Galaxy to charge the new iPhone. Apple got many upgrades. The Pro gets contoured and edges and thinness bezel that were on an iPhone. They managed to shrink the overall dimension of the, the phone. Stainless steel is replaced by titanium for the frame, which Apple claims there is a reduction of up to 10% weight in the Pro series. The Pro are less than uh, 19 grams compared to the 14 Pro series. It's a grade 5 titanium, which the company says is also used on the mass rover. Apple has enclosed the aluminium in the substrate of the titanium and using a new thermomechanical process. The frame has a brush texture achieved by over 14 hours process that include machining, sanding, brushing and finally blasting the phone's titanium exterior. It comes in four finishes, black and white, blue and agile titanium. The mute switch is now replaced by action button which has up to 10 actions. Front of ceramic sealed glass. The iPhone 15 Pro has a 6.1 inch Super Rectina XDR OLED display, HDR10 plus Dolby Vision with peak brightness of 2000 nits. The Pro Max will get always on display along with this. The camera system of the new iPhone Pro, is Pro Max is completely new. Both the phones get a new 14 megapixel main camera with a bigger pixel sensor and a second generation sensor stiffed stabilization. The main camera you will can shoot up to 48 megapixel HEIF images along with 48 megapixel Pro RAW. You get a Periscope 5x camera on the Pro Max only. That means you get 120 millimeter in 35 millimeter equivalent terms. The optical design is unique. Apple calls it Tetra Prism as it reflects light four more more than four times from the pupil opening to the lenses. iPhone 15 Pro gets a pedestrian 3x zoom camera. You get the A17 Pro chip powering both the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. This is the first industry chip built on 3 nanometer processor. You get a 10% improvement in performance and you get ray tracing support as well in this phone. It features a display engine with a dedicated A1V codec and ProRes codec. They are up for pre-orders now. The 15 Pro is maintained at the same price of 999 and the Pro Max has gone up to 1199. That is only because they axed the base 128 GB. Prices are good, the selfie cameras are good. Let's see whether this time this phone will be a smash it.